let's talk about the latest and greatest at Sonics. What's new? Well, the biggest new thing we have here is the Sonics and YXB models. It's the next in the lineage of the Sonics aircraft line, basically taking our original bread and butter airplanes, the Sonics and the YX, and refining them greatly. Obviously, the most marquee changes, if you will, are the increase in cockpit space. We didn't go hog wild. The total width of the airplane is the same. All we've done is we've taken those tapering forward fuselage laundrons and we made them parallel to the firewall. Eliminates all the pinch points by the shoulders, especially down by the time you get to the hips and the knees. Just gives you a lot more breathing room. That allowed us to make the panel bigger. We've got a nice dual screen, eight and a half inch MJL IEFAS Explorer system in this airplane. We're putting a Dynon quick panel in the tri-gear that we're building currently. For the guys that don't want that much glass, they can just put a big glove compartment in the airplane. We also have more fuel. We have more space for a four gallon increase in payload for fuel. So we have a 20 gallon usable fuel so we can extend the range even further. Beyond that, the stuff you don't see as obvious changes are all the nuanced enhancements we've made to the airplane. A lot more machined aluminum parts, things like canopy bows, fuselage joints in the airplane that make things go together much easier in far less time with much better results for the builder at the end. The cowling is another good example. It's the first cowling that John didn't have to carve out of a big block of foam. So it's done completely in SolidWorks modeling and we were able to put the first cowling on the airplane, get a Cleco down in about 10 minutes time. It's perfectly symmetrical, it's beautiful, and it's easy to install. We've done a lot with the cowling in terms of the side cooling exits, so we no longer have lips at the bottom where we're fighting positive pressure. The engine's cooling extremely well, and we're actually seeing just a little bit more speed, although maybe not enough to publish. We're also offering more engine mount options. So we now have engine mounts for UL Power 350 series engines and Rotex 912 series engines, in addition to the Jabru or Camet 3300, and of course, our own Aero-V and Aero-V Turbo. Now, as I understand from here on out, though, building is a whole lot simpler. It is, and again, it's about refinements. We've taken an airplane that's already extremely easy to build, even if you're scratch building it, and we've just increase the quality and the fit and the ease of construction of the parts in the kit. Uh, we've even added little things like uh, ABS molded cable and push rod fairings so that you don't have to sit there and try to work them out in metal. So all these little enhancements again that make the build easier and increase the quality of your results. So you're going to be able to get you know a really good looking show plane for uh, a lot less effort and even a little bit less skill. Well let's go to the big bad mama of the Sonics program here at the Jet. What's new with the jet? Well, the biggest thing that we've done with the jet, we've changed how we offer the aircraft in terms of pricing and kitting of the airplane. So now we've separated the engine from the airframe kit and we've also lowered the price. The uh, jet is offered only as a quick build aircraft. Base price has been lowered to $42,000. Add that plus an engine at about 55,000 and you've got a kit plus engine at still under 100 grand. Add your choice of avionics, something for seat cushions, whatever you want to do for paint, you're flying for anywhere for 110 to 150 if you're really going wild with the avionics. So really a, an economical jet. You know, this is the first micro jet that's achieved any level of success that was designed from day one to be a jet. And it's simple and easy to build and we're getting outstanding performance with it. Obviously here at the show and at places like Sun and Fun and other air shows, Bob Carlton's been demonstrating the airplane and showing off its capabilities. In the night show, he's got 17 pounds of pyro racked on each wingtip and I hear there's more pyro coming for next season. Dear God, where does he put it all? Well, we're talking about some tail mount options for some of the bigger finale stuff. That's a show I gotta see. Mark, thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. Aero TV is brought to you by Waco Classic Aircraft now offers the Great Lakes 2T1A2. Inspired by the classic YMF 5D, it's smaller but with 180 horsepower, simpler avionics, and fully aerobatic. Waco lets you fly simply for the fun of it. www.wacoaircraft.com Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero.